you hear yourself. You can only hear me. Yeah, I'm recording right now. Can you hear me through the headphones? You can't. Okay, you should be able to. That's why you're wearing them. My name? My name's TJ. I want to take you for a ride. I think the biggest thing that uh, um, inspired me forward was drawing. Um, I just, I guess I liked drawing for some reason. I don't know, I don't remember how I picked that up, but I like drawing and I used to draw on everything. I like drawing like characters, like comic book type stuff. Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, stuff like that. And so um, I thought they were cool. And so, um, and I realized that cartoons were made by people who used to draw them to like draw what I saw in the cartoons. Looks, and so I couldn't understand why it looked so bad. And so I kind of kept sticking with that, like trying to like redraw and try to like, learn how to do that better because it didn't look like what I saw on TV. And so there's one game called uh, Marvel vs. Capcom. And it was so, it was other, it was almost like unrealistic yet realistic, you know? Op. You know, the music was, was just more than, I mean, it was, it was different than what I've heard before. The, the same things that I saw on TV, um, like the cartoons and stuff like that. And, and in the comic books, we're now in a video game in a place where I could play and control these characters. And I could see, like, these people, like, I could see, like, the, the animation behind it. Where there's, I say Iron Man's uh, fighting the Hulk. Uh, and a huge, like, cannon, you know, just, you know, materializes out of thin air and then blasts the crap out of him and he gets knocked out. Um, is that type of exaggeration where it can't, obviously, no, it can't happen in the real world. But it didn't. But you weren't limited to it to the physics of it not being there, and so in a real world sense, because of, you physically couldn't make that happen, in that game you make you can make that happen, and so that's that's where the exaggeration the exaggeration came from, and so there was like constrained confined uh, limitations, but those limitations were broken when needed to, in order to express the point of what they were trying to trying to do. Does that make sense? Spider-Man is Spider-Man because he has he puts on a costume and he has web powers and he sticks to the wall. Superman is Superman because he's super strong and he's super fast and he's, uh, you know, has super hearing and stuff like that. All those things are just a, you know, um, something more than what the person really is. And in that moment, um, in that game, it represented what a person had the possibility to do if given the chance. And so, um, yeah, the, the movements were fantastic and the movements were, you know, more than, you know, um, over the top and stuff like that. But at the same time, they were, to me, they were a reflection of what I could do if I could put my mind to it to show people how they can be more than who they are or uh, not just more than who they are, um, show them that they were already more than what they're trying to be. And just kind of like unlock that with people, and lock that inside of them, you know. It's been a while since I've uh, had a chance to talk about it, but that's kind of kind of like what I want to do. Yeah. So, alright, man.